my channel and welcome to Mental Health Mondays. I hope you guys are all doing well, you've had a good past week and you're excited for today's video. I'm honestly so in love with this series and I just am so excited to have this as a permanent part of my channel. If you guys don't know what Mental Health Mondays are, you guys can check out the very first video I posted two weeks ago now and that will give you a bit more information as to why this is sort of happening. But today I am just going to be doing a relaxed, chilled out mindfulness chat slash exercise with you guys. So for people who are suffering from anxiety and other mental illnesses as well, um, mindfulness is something that is really, really important to practice. If you don't already, have a look into it. There are so many websites that you can go to now, even apps on your phone that help you be more mindful and just sort of talk about being more mindful in a wider sense in day-to-day -day life. But ever since I've started mindfulness, um, I've found a big, big difference in my mood, in my energy levels, in the way that I think about things. It's honestly so beneficial and that's why I really wanted to incorporate it into one of my Mental Health Monday videos. Mindfulness, if you don't know what it is, is basically just being present and being in the moment, thinking about now rather than what's going to happen in two days. Now you can practice mindfulness in different forms. It's probably most beneficial to do it in the morning if you're going to do it as a daily exercise, which I do like to do. But being realistic, some days you know you just get up or you've got things to do and that's totally fine. But just try and make an effort to do it as much as you possibly can, especially if you are quite anxious. Being mindful is something that helps me so, so much, whether I'm having an anxiety attack or just my anxiety is quite high generally in that area. So this is a practice my psychologist actually taught me and I've sort of adapted it to my own sort of program. I don't know. I just sort of do what I feel is best for me in the moment. And once you get the hang of being mindful, it's a lot easier to do. I remember when I first started practicing mindfulness, it was like almost trying to fit a square through a circle. Like it was, it was really, really hard and I had to really change my view of things. Sort of just relax a little bit, I guess. It gets a lot easier though, that's what I'm trying to say. So don't stress if you know you find it a little bit uncomfortable at first because it takes a little bit of practice like with most things. So if you are planning on doing this exercise in real time with me, it's not gonna take long at all. You can actually find mindfulness apps on your phone so like headspace and mindfulness there's so many different ones out there if you just search the app store you can get like free trials and stuff there's plenty of good ones out there there's also a really good one called smiling mind and that's the one that i used to use up until i learned to do my own mindfulness practice so if you're going to be doing this mindfulness practice with me in real time um, i suggest you get into a comfortable position a lot of people um, say you're supposed to do it like sitting in a seated position but for me i just like to get comfortable i like to either lie on the ground if i find that that's more relaxing for me otherwise i'll lie on my bed or something like that but just make sure that you're comfortable. You're not really uncomfortable, you know, you're not cramped or anything like that. Just make sure you've got room and space to relax and be mindful. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking and I am going to be looking at the camera and whatnot. But try and just play this and don't look at the screen. It's really important to be in your environment, not looking at mine or whatnot. But anyway, we're going to practice being mindful and do a little exercise together. So I hope you guys enjoy this. A lot of mindfulness apps that I found, you know, went for like 15 minutes or 10 minutes even. And I was like, I don't have that much time. So me practicing my own mindfulness, I generally try and keep it as short as possible, but effective. So sit back, relax, and yeah, enjoy this little mindfulness exercise. It'll so first of all, get comfy. Get into a comfortable position, whether that be on the floor, lying straight with your arms out, sitting on the floor with your legs crossed, lying on a bed or a couch, or sitting upright in a seated position. Make sure you're comfortable and relaxed. First, begin with relaxing all of your muscles. Tighten each muscle group. Squeeze your fists together. Squeeze your shoulders and relax. Let your body sink into the floor, into your bed, 
into your couch or into a seat. Just relax and allow your muscles to have completely relaxed too. Now take a moment to turn your attention to your breathing. Watch as you inhale and exhale. Place your hands on your stomach and feel your belly rise as you inhale and deflate as you exhale. Make sure you're breathing from within your stomach and not with your chest. Your shoulders should be the last thing to rise. Now just take some time to really focus on your breathing and pay attention to your breath. Breathe in and out. And in and out. Begin to count your breaths and your breaths out. Make sure you sigh all the air out of your lungs. Your breaths out should be longer than your breaths in. Focus on how your body moves as it expands with air and deflates as you sigh the air out. Get rid of any air left in your lungs. Now, just sit here and count your breaths. If you feel comfortable, close your eyes. Now, turn your attention to what's around you, your surrounding environment. Strengthen your senses Pay attention firstly to the sounds. What can you hear? It might be the rustle of the trees outside, it might be the crickets if you're doing this at night time, it might be the sound of cars going up and down the main road, it might be the sound of a tractor, there's construction, or it might be the birds chirping. And if external thoughts pop into your head, that's okay. Acknowledge them and place them in a bubble and watch the bubble float away. Anytime your mind wanders, just revert your attention back. Now, switch your attention to what you can smell. Is it a fresh smell? Is there a fresh scent? Can you smell flowers? Does the air smell fresh? Now switch your attention to how you feel. Are you relaxed? Is there muscles that are quite tight? Are you breathing quite heavily? If so, revert your attention back to your breathing and take slow breaths in and out to control your breathing again. Now everyone come back to your breathing, place your hands on your stomach again and feel your belly rise as you inhale and deflate as you exhale, in and out, in and out, and just do this for three more breaths. When you feel ready, open your eyes. And that is a mindfulness practice. That went for about five minutes, but hopefully you are feeling a little bit more relaxed now. This is a really good video to come back to if you are feeling a little bit anxious, maybe in a week, maybe in a month. Come back to this video and just pop it on. There's a bunch of other meditation and mindfulness apps that you can use as well just in your daily life. But that is one of my favorite ones for just a quick, simple way to be mindful, stop worrying about external factors and just be present and in the moment and focus on the now. And that's a really important thing to do when you're living in your head and your brain is going a million miles an hour. It's just really nice to stop and calm down for a little bit.
But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this little mindfulness uh, practice today. If you guys would like more or if there's anything else you'd like to see, then just let me know. I love you guys so much. Sending you all my love and I will see you guys all in either my next video or next Monday for another Mental Health Monday video. Bye!